Okay, now we are coming to the tailplane. I have uh, cut uh, a slice in the deep run, and for the rod I use a three, four millimeter Kevlar tube. And uh, inside this Kevlar tube, I will uh, put this metal because the weakest point of the whole tail. This is uh, where where this is going through the fuselage and then I have taken a, a small piece of uh, aluminium I will put this on here and glue it to and, uh, and put up some tape and then I will drill a hole through there and then I will glue this this uh, stainless steel tube inside that will be uh, like a hinge. I have now glued in uh, the aluminium and uh, the stainless steel tube, and it works very nice, very stable. This is the special uh, horn I made for the elevator made of uh, one millimeter aluminium and just glue it together with epoxy when uh, the elevator is assembled at the, at the fuselage. Okay, now there's the uh, elevator on and the rudder. Next thing is to install the RC equipment. For the servos, I use uh, HXT 900s for the elevator and uh, ailerons, and for the rudder, I use a uh, HXT 500. I just cut a hole for the servo and stick it in. And make a channel for the wire and put on some tape and make a push rod. For push rods, I use 2 mm carbon. Okay, now the servos for the elevator and the rudder is on the plane. Next step is the aileron. This is where I will place the servos. And the next step is to cut. Okay, now the alien servers are installed. And for the push rod, for the for the alien, I use uh, normal paper clips. Then uh, the next thing will be the first test flight.